All right, welcome back to Newbie for Hire. This is just a quick uh, raft building guide. Apparently there's some new, I don't know if they're new, but they're, I newly found them, glitches for building rafts to extend out the uh, the length here. I'm not gonna sink the foundation because it's not necessary for this. We are gonna hide the cell. So as you probably noticed, actually let's destroy that. You can now only do a three by three or a two by three uh, on a raft. You can no longer stick foundations under ceilings. However, you can still get the raft considerably larger than it first appears. So this is basically what we're looking at normally. However, we can trick the system into giving us more. I don't know. Don't ask me why this works, but it does work. Also works on motorboats. Key here is to create the slope ceiling. And this is going to create foundational support. An additional bit. Now it. Uh, I think I can get that one out too. So this is the max platform size on a wooden raft using that method. Now if we demolish the ceilings, uh, the stuff will sometimes stay. It's a little bit finicky. Like you can see that stays, but if I demolish this, it might collapse. Even though these ceilings were never attached to this, this particular slope roof, it took out all that. However, sometimes if you build up around the ramps, you can demolish the ramps and get the structure to stay, but not always the case. I'm not sure exactly what the the rules are regarding it. I built, for example, I built this dyno pin using that strategy. I built this dyno pin using ramps right here to get these behemoth gates constructed and then demolished them and it stayed. I don't really know why. Sometimes they fall apart. It did fall apart multiple times while building it <coughs> until it was fully built. Once it was fully built, I removed them and it, and it stayed. And this is single player, so I wasn't too concerned about the materials. Motorboat, the platform can get a little bit bigger. No need to sink again, because I'm just demonstrating. Otherwise, normally I would sink them. Here's the normal limit on the motorboat, minus the back there, because I didn't have that foundation. I think it's yeah, I no longer need these foundational supports. Once I've built the outer ones, I don't know. Don't ask me why it works that way or how it works that way. But once you've uh, established the outer ones, they hold the inner ones in, I guess. It doesn't look like I'm going to even be able to get enough structure to get this thing as big as it can go, but you can see the center of the raft. You can see those two are the far extreme. I could expand those two sides out a little further if I had the structures, but I don't. You can see once you do hit the limit, it will tell you uh, the structure is too far away from the platform. And that's it. That's my guide for extending your platform as far as you want it up to the limit there. Uh, in case you want a really long boat or, you know, whatever you want. 
that's how you can build it. I guess that, uh, I was trying to break this all down, but I guess it still stays. So that's something I guess I'll need to toy with a little bit more. Even with every foundation demolished, those sloped ceilings seem to be, uh, whatever, seem to be supporting the whole thing onto the raft. So it looks like we can still do some interesting things. I mean, I don't know what you'd use that for. Maybe build some kind of a large perimeter, a defensive perimeter. Since we were out, we were already out of structures before, we could. We could uh, keep extending and add guns or whatnot, spikes. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.